Thank you for joining us here at HockeyUs.com. Don't forget to go to our website, HockeyUs.com, become a member today to help us rate the products you see viewed here and also the other products that we have listed on our website. Okay, guys, a new product we're going to bring up here to HockeyUs is a uh, stick that Winwell sent us. It's called the GX8. It's a uh, nice price point stick that we have. Um, it retails for a little under $100, depending on where, uh, where your person is from. And um, just pretty much want to run through some of the advantages uh, that this stick has. First off, um, we weighted um, on the stick itself. It's listed as 400 and, um, 490 grams, if you can see that. 490 grams. You go on the website, and I believe that they have it listed on there, on this particular stick, at 480 grams. When, when we weighed it, it uh, came in at 477 grams. Uh, like I said, this stick retails for uh, under $100, and 477 grams for a $100 stick, that actually is pretty light. It's got a great feel to it. Uh, this, the stick that I'm holding here is an 85 flex, uh, regular flex. According to them, that's how they do it. They do it in whippy, regular, and stiff. Um, it does have a thinner shaft profile to it, so it almost feels like you are holding an intermediate um, shaft in your hand. Uh, one of the key purposes that they have behind this is called the extended pro taper. Now, this isn't like most of your sticks that, you're, that you buy in the store under the big brand names uh, where you might have a 12-inch taper or even like the X60s and some of the different models where they have two different flex zones. I'm going to come a little closer to the uh, screen here, and as you can see, it's called a ProFlex Taper. Uh, this taper right here, I don't know if you can see this and pick this up on the film, but it actually tapers in right here. So it goes pretty much almost like a normal size here, and then tapers down in here, and it also comes back up. And that actually can serve two purposes. Number one, um, you know, when you're taking a shot, it'll, um, it'll actually make the blade come back as you're following through a little bit more truer because it doesn't flex back as, as far. Um, pretty much what it will do is it's going to flex more towards uh, the bottom portion of your hand. So you're going to get a nice um, mid-kick is what I'll call it on this stick here. You're going to get a nice mid-kick to it and then it's going to come back faster and a little bit more truer. Um, also, if you can, let me turn the stick around here. It says on here the 12K blade technology. Now this is actually what they have a folded wrap. So they don't weave this. It's how they fold the graphite in here which makes it a little stiffer. And I think that's where they save on... Um, on some of the weight in this stick here is by folding the graphite you're not actually weaving it and using a lot of foams uh, and fillers inside the blade so you can actually keep it really nice and light which gives you some balance to it now unfortunately a lot of their blade patterns that they have they don't list um, uh, you know with your traditional um, uh, names on there like you know Zetterberg or Char or any of those guys so um, uh, maybe we'll do a video later on um, to let you guys know or we'll post something up uh, on our website uh, to what the blades correspond with. Like they have uh, blades uh, P19, P161, and this particular one here is called uh, the PS112. Uh, so we'll find out exactly what those um, what those patterns are and we'll relate this a little bit later on after we post this video here to help you guys uh, choose the pattern, the correct pattern that you need. So again, this is um, the Winwell GX8 stick here that we have. Uh, that we're showing you here today. Again, I just want to kind of go over a couple di different things for you. It is 477 grams and it was listed at 480 on the website, 490 on the stick, so it is a little lighter. And again, this is the weight without the tape or anything on there. So as we always do it here at HockeyUs.com, I'm going to go uh, over a couple different things as far as uh, balance, durability, flex, visual, and also weight. So for balance, we're going to give it a 4 for a stick that's under $100. And I think that's where a lot of um, the technology is going nowadays. Uh, years ago, this would have been one of the lightest sticks on the market and, and um, has a really good balance feel and feel to it. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 for a balance. Durability, again, uh, on a lot of these sticks here, they don't have a lot of Kevlar and they don't lighten them up uh, with a lot of high end, um, uh, you know, fabrics and stuff like that, or, or composites, I should say. So um, that's pretty much, I'm, I'm going to give this for durability a 4 because when you do have a lower end stick, for some reason, they tend to last a little longer. Uh, for flex, I'm going to give it a 4. Uh, keep in mind this is a regular flex here. The regular flex actually seems a little bit more stiffer. It seems like a stiff flex stick. I think it's because of that extended pro taper that's on there. It brings it up towards your hands a little bit more that it does make the stick feel a little stiffer. Uh, for visual looks, uh, we discussed this and actually it's got two tone graphic. On one side the one well is, uh, is white on this side and on this side here it's black so it's kind of um, almost reversed. We like those gra graphics. Keeping it classy. Um, not with all the shiny foil that a lot of the companies put over there to have that stick rack pizzazz feel to jump out at you when you're in a store. And for weight, we're also going to give it a four. Again, guys, keep this in mind that this is a stick that's under $100 and uh, still it's 477 gram. So uh, if you see these in your store, I think it's worth giving it a try. 
or maybe even have it as a good backup stick uh, to your $240 um, other one-piece sticks that you might have. So give it a chance today. This is the Winwell GX8 seen here at HockeyOS.com. Thanks for stopping by.